Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. Today's video is our very first week with our new bird, Scampy. We rescued him, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about him now and show you him a bit closer up just so you can see him instead of seeing my face all the time. He is a yellow-sided green cheek honger. Um, we are gonna show you his very first week with us. Um, today is the end of the week and while he's very bitey, he is able to come out and kind of say hello. So I wanted him to be kind of at the start of the video and you can see our journey and uh, see how we get on. Uh, I also wanted to mention that we rescued him from uh, Safe Haven Parrot Refuge. I'm going to leave all their information in the description if you'd like to go and check them out and if you'd like to go and donate any pennies so you can help more birdies like Scampy who's trying to bite my nail off. That's not very kind, is it? Um, because they do loads of good work and we have had a really positive experience with them so definitely go check them out, give them a follow on Instagram if you can't donate um, but here is Scampy's first bitey week with us here at home so we're very excited because today is the day when our new baby bird comes to join us apologise for the um, appearance, I got caught in the rain this morning but um, I thought I'd show you his very temporary cage setup um, until we've got another suitable cage because this rescue has happened really quickly and um, we had a spare cage and I'll show you it now and how we set it up for now and then we are obviously changing it so I'll talk you through it. So as I said before anyone freaks out this is a completely temporary cage um, until we have another one suitable and he is going to be quarantining in our bedroom so we can spend lots of time with him and he can be away from the birds just to make sure there's no kind of signs of illness or anything but we're fairly confident he's going to be fine. This was actually the cage that Pickles came in when we rescued her, um, so we know that it can accommodate a Konya for the time being. We also didn't want to put too many toys in because, as far as I'm aware, when he was given to the rescue, um, he didn't actually come with any toys. So we have just gone for a few little ones and then we're going to see if he likes them, if he's kind of afraid and we'll kind of go from there. So we've got a nice little kind of uh, West Coca Bob up there with some natural perches. We've got the Rosewood Planet Pleasures ones. We've got some lovely balsa toys at the back there from the Natural Bird Product Company. Uh, some other ones from Northern Parrots. Um, easy bed bedding on the floor, a couple of floor toys, a ladder. And then his food and water will go here, but I just want to um, get him in first before I have the food and water. So um, that's the setup. Yes, I know Dal perches are bad, but again, this is super, super temporary until we have another cage. Um, but yeah, it's all kind of set up and then... As soon as he's here and he's been settled in for a while we will see if we need to make any adjustments to it and then we've just got a little treat for the lady who is delivering him to us so that is that we are just very impatiently waiting now for him to arrive very excited very nervous very anxious but here we go so he's here here is our little baby he arrived um about half an hour ago and um, the lady who came, Constance, was very friendly and helpful and we did all the paperwork and everything and here we are. So he is an absolutely stunning little man. He's hiding at the moment. I think he's trying to scritch himself on that toy which is adorable. He is a green cheek conya and he is the colour mutation yellow sided so he pretty much has all of the colours of the rainbow on him which is adorable. Um, he's interested in this food but he's a bit confused about the bowls, um, they are really deep and again I said before um, this is not an ideal cage and it's temporary. Um, he won't take any treats just yet, we're not really pushing it, we're just talking softly to him. Um, but yeah he's very flighty and quite loud, <laughs> he's louder than pickles um, but hopefully in the next few days he's going to settle in nicely and we'll see how he gets on. So he's come to us with loads of pin feathers because he's quite scared of hands. I don't know if you can see but he's just scritching himself on this Rosewood Planet Pleasures toy. She's so adorable, I love him. So you have to excuse the lighting and my appearance but it's coming to the end of our first kind of few hours if you like with our little baby bird um, it's getting quite late in the evening so I thought I would just kind of round off what's been happening since he arrived home he is absolutely gorgeous adorable he's already been um, eating nutri berries out of our hands which is amazing um, he doesn't really show much interest in thinking about biting he's licked my fingers as well which is really adorable um, he does however make a lot of noise when we leave the room he's very noisy and wants to know where we are because we are quarantining him in our bedroom um away from our birds just to be on the safe side 
Um, he looks perfectly healthy and he's eating and drinking out of his bowls, which is great, but we've got it here on the side of caution. So we are doing that. Um, as I said, he's been quite noisy. Um, hasn't really settled. Um, he's been kind of scrabbling around his cage. He has played with his toys and he's been scritching one of them as I showed you, but um, we'll have to see how the night goes. Um, it could be an unsettled night, but we'll just have to wait and see and we'll try and accommodate him obviously as best as we can. If we need to have um, more light in the room so he's more comfortable, that's fine. We'll just make do. Um, but he's He's so lovely, I'm fully in love with him already and he's only been here a couple of hours, so, and David is too. Um, so, let's see how the evening goes. Oh, one other thing as well, so obviously he's making a lot of noise. Um, Pickles has actually been responding to some of his calls that he does, which is really cute. Um, the boys are a little bit unsure of what all the noise is, um, but Pickles is like, mm, okay, this is quite interesting. So it would be really cool when we can finally have them meet to see what their reaction is. So yeah, I think unless anything else dramatic happens, I'll leave it here for tonight and then we'll see how we're getting on um, as the days go on. So somebody has just had his very first bath here, it's completely drenched the wall and I wasn't in the room at the time, David was, and he told me that um, he just basically got into his water bowl and um, has drenched the wall and he's absolutely soaked so hopefully you can see if it'll focus but that's great because it means you know he's pretty comfortable you wouldn't have a bath as a bird if you were really stressed and uncomfortable so that's awesome and he's a really wet chicken aren't you and it's only day two it's screeching time he absolutely loves it, it's very cute, and um, he's been kind of squeaking, asking for attention, which is adorable. But he's, he's very gentle. Um, I think he's bitten us a little bit harder than we would hope for, like once each. But other than that, he's just a typical Konya, kind of mlems you and that kind of thing. But he's very, very gentle, which is so nice. And to have um, the opportunity to kind of scritch him this early on when we've rescued him is amazing. So it's day three now and we are just getting Scampi used to hands. He is kind of fine with hands around him but he just doesn't want to put his feet on our hands so we're just getting used to it. Every bird is going to be different and we have noticed that he is really receptive to us and really interested, hasn't tried to bite us when he, we've offered treats through the bars so we thought that we could move to this step, see how it was and if we needed to step back a step then we could do that. Um, I've done this already today and he cuddled up underneath my hand which was adorable um, but yeah we're just in the process of just getting him to trust us and know that this is his forever home and hopefully stepping up onto our hands because we've heard that he's very hard to get back in his cage and we don't want to have him out of the cage if we don't think he's going to step up because that's going to be a recipe for disaster. So it's now day four with Mr. Scampi and we have got his second temporary cage here which I'm going to show you. Um, we have made loads of progress. He's still quite stressed of course because it's a new place but he has been stepping up onto our hands in the cage and accepting loads of scritches. He's letting me do pin feathers so he's doing so well. Um, it's still a long road ahead. We haven't got him out yet because we want to get him settled into this cage first but here we are, his day four, and I'll show you his new temporary cage. So again, like I said before, it's a little bit bare because we have got him a much bigger cage um, and I'm awaiting a couple of orders for more toys and perches and sisal rope, that kind of thing. Um, I know some people are going to get a bit overexcited and be like, oh, it's, it's taller than it is wide, oh, it's terrible. This is a temporary cage, I can't stress that enough. He's absolutely fine. Um, once he's obviously settled in i'm sure he'll be absolutely fine with it just like pickles with hers she doesn't show any sign of distress and the idea is that these cages are quite similar to each other his and pickles is and they're going to go next to each other once he's out of quarantine and then they can see each other at the same height and hopefully start bonding because as soon as we see that they are bonded they are going to be going into a massive oregon flight cage together um, and then if we see that they are just not happy about bonding then we will get them their separate cages but there is no point getting the Oregon flight cage now I'm sure some people will be thinking oh why don't you just get the big cage now put pickles in it and then they can get used to each other um, she will end up getting territorial and then 
there's just it's not going to go well so we want them to go into the cage together yeah once um there's a bond so that they can go in and set up their kind of territories together so that's the scoop i'm going to leave him now because he's not overly impressed about the camera but yeah we've got his temporary cage set up here and it is very bare because i'm waiting for orders so that is what's going on at the moment so just a quick update on evening four um he's been super cute today it's really hard to film stuff because i want to just kind of enjoy the moment and not put too much pressure on him like shoving a camera in his face but he has been stepping up beautifully in the cage he's been he fell asleep in my hand while i had my hand in the cage when i was watching a youtube video which is adorable um when he preens his tail he holds it with one foot which is so cute um and that's been great and his screaming has been a little bit better but as you can see he sometimes does some kind of like stress behaviors um kind of climbing the cage and pacing and that can be normal for a bird who's just come into a new environment and we're not too concerned at this stage because it's still really really early days and we are just getting on top of things so we're going to keep an eye on that but that's something to consider um when you especially a rescue bird bring them home is you know they're not going to settle straight away it's going to take a bit of time um but i'm gonna put this camera down because i'm sure it's not helping he's gonna eat his dinner and we will see what happens tomorrow it's day five he slept really well last night which is awesome um and his screaming was also slightly better which is fantastic and his camps he's kind of curious but also a little bit scared of the camera so i don't want to stress him out too much but i know that i'm showing a lot of like through the bars stuff so i want to kind of show you him a little bit better and show his beautiful colors um he's still stepping up okay but he gets very excited and tries to bite but not in like a really angry kind of way um hopefully our delivery of goodies will come today but we're going to make him some diy toys to try and play with and i guess we'll see how he gets on throughout the day but each day he's getting better and better um trusting us more the screaming is lessening but every bird is going to be different. I don't want people to sort of see this video and think, oh, every rescue bird's going to be, you know, really simple and they're going to settle within a few days. That's not the case. So just bear that in mind. If you're considering a rescue parrot, it could take longer. So we are just showing you how we are training little man to step up. We're using banana chips as his treats because they're his favourite. And we've got him on a perch. We're just using the banana chip just out of reach. And then he steps onto David's hand and gets his treat. Now every bird is going to be different with how you can train them to step up and David's actually got a video all about that so I'm going to put a card at the top if you have a new baby and you're training them to step up. Today is day seven, the screaming is a little bit better uh, but the biting is not however we have got him out once already today and I just wanted to try and see what he's going to be like this afternoon. Um, his step up is okay Good boy, that's it. Let's come out. That's another chip. Not quite sure. Are you? Good boy. There you go. Do you want that scampi? You'd like my finger instead. He's doing a lot of bluffing with me where he's putting his head to my fingers and expecting me to start petting him and then he'll try and bite me. So his body angles, like any parrot, um, the signs for excitement are very similar to uh, stress and kind of anger, that kind of thing. But you're a noisy boy, aren't you? Would you like a snack? Not my finger. Would you like something different? Would you like a Nutriberry? You'd still like my finger, okay. See, he's bluffing me. It looks like he wants me to pet him, but when I do, he just bites me. 
So I hope you've enjoyed seeing Scampy's very first week with us. We just are just absolutely in love with him and we're so glad that he's joined our family and we're hoping he's going to continue to improve, lessen the screaming and the biting and we can't wait to introduce him to Pickles once quarantine is over. If you'd like to follow his journey, of course, I'm going to be posting videos on here but we're also going to be featuring him a lot on our social media channels. So I've got all of our Instagram links if you have Instagram all down in the description. I've got mine and David's and the birds as well. They've got a big Instagram account so it'd be really cool if you could follow us over there and see their daily antics too but from me and mr scampy thank you so much for watching hope you're having a fantastic week take care and see you later